Fire weapons at the space amoeba. Fire all weapons. Boop. Zoop. We barely hurt it. Well done. Okay, we're back. And, uh... Yeah, I was saying before about, uh, there's a Star Trek 4X game in development. I can't remember what it's called. Someone will know. Just look up Star Trek Paradox game. Um... And that looks really interesting. It'll be a while before it's out, but um, that's something I'd love to stream for ages. But yeah, these, these games can be kind of addictive for me. I had a problem with Stellaris where, uh, I think it was 2020, over Christmas, I played like 60 hours of it in a week. It was it was a problem. <laughs> I, had to, I had to intervene. I had to go in and delete my save and all the backups and make sure the cloud save was gone too, just because I... I couldn't keep doing this, you know? It was interfering with, with everything. It was bad. It was bad. I get addicted to games like this. And then I... So, I was talking to my brother. Uh, he's been playing um, Crusader Kings 3, which I didn't realise how interesting the mechanics were of that game. It has, like, this whole thing where you... You know, you're not just conquering by force. You're also marrying off your... your 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 offspring to you know to 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 other places and doing all this like medieval diplomacy and stuff and it looks really cool i would really like to play the medieval murder incest stimulator stimulator simulator yes exactly um have you played it ritu because it looks fascinating i would love to play that uh and maybe even stream it <laughs> i think that'd be fun yeah cool are you saying yes you've played it or yes to streaming of it? Um, yeah, I think that would be really cool. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, let's see. We have lots of farmers on Dogstar. We it's both. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Excellent. Um, let's look at planets we could take. So this is a really nice interface here. So you can sort of specify. Let's do no enemy presence. Apparently you can place a horse as the ruler. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's amazing. Oh god. I love it. Okay, this looks really good. Eros, because it has... It's a desert planet. So it's not actually as bad as any of these in terms of food. It has normal gravity. It's small, but it's ultra rich. So let's... Uh, let's that's where we should send our colony ship. I mean, our, re our outpost ship. Eros 1. Yes. Okay, good. Um, yeah, these games can really get into my head. You know, they're just like, you're just doing little bits and little bits more. Speaking of interfaces, I don't suppose if you know there's a program that helps make interfaces. As in, like, in game development, do you mean? Um, I find that. I mean, my only real experience is with Unity, and the... Um, okay. Um, Unity has a pretty good UI system. Oh, hang on. <laughs> well, <laughs> we interrupt this uh, game development tutorial to bring you the Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most watched information source. Scientists in the Sakura Empire have found the cure for the plague. Look at this horrible graphic they've got up here, up there. Like... There's no humans in this galaxy. Why is there a human skeleton up there? Uh, the pestilence will end. There we go. Okay, good. Um, yeah, good question. What, what, what game are you looking to make? Um, so yeah, the UI system in Unity is very versatile. It's a little fiddly, but it's it's good out of the box stuff. So if you're looking, if if anyone's looking to make a game that isn't an adventure game. Uh, I'd suggest Unity. I've heard good things about uh, Godot uh, and Game Maker, but I've never used them. Um, I'm a one-trick pony with game development. I only make games in the one thing. Which planet is this? Boneyard 3. Okay, so this is our colony world. I want to do a sort of top-down style like Mega Traveler or something like Syndicate. That's cool. Um, so yeah, Unity is good at 2D. So is Godo. G O D O T. Um, I'll put it in chat. Well, you, yeah, you can spell. G O D O T. Um, <laughs> it's difficult to walk tab out of this, that's why. 
Um, yeah, so I'd recommend getting into one of those. Um, there's some really good game development courses on Game Dev TV. They aren't free, uh, but they go on sale quite a lot. And those are very comprehensive to get you started with, with Unity or other development environments. Unity wasn't originally designed for uh, 2D, so sometimes it can be a bit fiddly with it. Um, but every engine has its uh, has its its pros and cons, you know. Uh, we have plus one food, so we can take this guy off here and put him into workers. We really should have more scientists, but I really want to build this colony ship. Everything, is, what can't I do everything all at once? Ooh, Commodore Kronos, wait to see if you can raise the 390. Okay, look at this. So he's got galactic law. What does this mean? I can't click on it. Uh, okay. I want to know what galactic law is. Where is he? Oh, I forgot we got this guy, Captain Kayan. Plus 22 in combat around these space monsters and Antarans. Relays instant launch of planet and star information. That's really cool. Um, let's put Captain Kayan in charge of this ship. Yes, good. Um, we're about to arrive at the Eros system. Oh, we can name it! Galactic law looks like, sounds like something Sung would make. Yeah, it's a giant law that eats planets. Law Galactus, yes. Um, so, we're going to colonize this planet. What do we want to name this system? Oh, we can't name it yet. Okay, but keep it in mind. Colony ship comes in 45 turns. It's ridiculous. Maybe I should like bump the automated factory up because then it will build it faster in the long run, I think. Yes. Yeah, it's down to 28. That's much better. Okay. Okay, you built the automated factory. This is why it gets very micromanagey uh, later in the game, and why I didn't want anything larger than a medium galaxy. Okay, another automated factory. Uh, hydroponic farms are great, because they just free up space, uh, so we don't have to have as many farmers. So we can have more workers. Class 1 shield, excellent. ECM jammer, mass driver. It's a big gun! Yes. Uh, we probably want better fuel cells so we can explore further. Let's go with that. Yes. Um, colony base? Yeah, let's build another colony base. I don't want to merge the mechanics of both Syndicate and Mega Traveller. Mega Travel being a space RPG and Syndicate, uh, yeah. Syndicate, yeah, I don't know what it is, it's like a squad shooter kind of thing. Um, it's kind of like an RTS, but with only four characters, yeah. Um, is this your first game, Kiprogia? Is this the first game you're going to make? Because if it is, my advice is. Consider each of the mechan each of the main mechanics that you want in this game, and then make a small game, each just based on that single mechanic, right? So if you wanted to make something like Syndicate, like just focus on the the part of it that is the top down interface and moving about shooting things, then make another. I don't know Mega Traveler, um, so. Yeah, and then make something else that has the RPG elements. And by doing all of those, you will learn so much more that will help be the foundation for building the big game in the end. Because if you start with a big project, you're going to encounter a lot of uh, issues that you didn't anticipate. And there's nothing like um, experience to... <sighs> To make you better at doing something. It's kind of like, I guess a good metaphor is like gears, you know, like in a car. So if you try to go 50 miles an hour in first gear, you're going to have a bad time, right? You're going to strain your engine. You need to go slower to, in the first gear. Like the first, the gears are like the game. So your first game is your first gear. Go slower with that one. But by slower, I mean less ambitious, right? So you make your least ambitious game first. Your second most ambitious game after that and keep building up because like don't be like me I, I made I made a really simple game first and even still 
I made two relatively simple games. Then I made one that was way too big and it took me seven years. Don't do that. Start simple. And you'll learn so much more making a couple of smaller games that you'll get your big game done quicker in the end because you'll have learned more and you won't come into the same kind of problems. Uh, research lab, yes. That's my advice. Wow, I'm just skipping past turns here. Colony ship, colony base. We could put another colony base because there's other planets in this. There's other planets in this system we need to colonize. Well, just one really. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we have plus two food, so we can start cutting down on food production because we have. Yeah, let's get these guys producing this colony ship. Look at this colony base, colony ship, colony base. So many colonies. We're expanding. Oh, who's this? It's the Cat Boys. The Russian Empire produces the greater good. We serve by signing a non-aggression pact. No, no, you're cats. We're dogs. It doesn't work. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, they just got another system. They've got three now. Yeah. I mean, it's too perfect for them not to be our enemies. Okay, we can go further now. We've got the... Oh, I might need to refit my ships. I should do that anyway, because I've got some... Uh, whatchamacallit? Some shield generators. Let's get Fusion Beam as well. And some text-based storytelling, but with pictures. Okay. So that's another thing. You make a game that is just a text-based storytelling game first. To get the dialogue system down. Right? And the, and the way that all displays. Make another game that's just a, sh a top-down shooter. You, you, you get the idea. You get what I'm saying. Okay, where can we go? We can go here. Good. Um, where else can we go? Can't go there. Can't go there. We can't go very far at all. We can just go to let one extra start. Brilliant. Okay. I guess if we build uh, a star base on one of these other planets. What's at this planet? This system. Oh, this is a rubbish planet. Okay. What about the Arkham system? That's okay. It's not good. Oh, colony base. Yes, uh, here, obviously, the only place we could put it. Ooh. Automated factory. Can we just buy this? Yes, we can. Excellent. Oh, I forgot about that leader. Do we? Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's design a new ship. Does anyone want to name this class of ship? Because we can't actually. No. Let's not do this yet. Um. Because we'll wait till we get the fusion beams. Tried to make my own XCOM years ago, broke my heart and quit after two years. Yeah, it's that's what Guildmaster was, kind of like a fantasy XCOM. At least it started that way, and then I had to pull back the design, and it ended up being not what I wanted it to make, just so I could finish it. You know. So nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear "Don't make your dream game." Baby steps, absolutely. Like, you know, the the advice is. Make your first game small, no smaller. Let's just do an outpost ship. Start off easy and work up to what you want, exactly. And you will learn as you go. That's the important thing, right? You will get better at game design by designing games. It's, you know... Oh, we have starvation. That's not good. Um, we probably need another freighter fleet. No, we don't. Okay, we just need more food production. We don't have starvation. I guess we lost the population point from the starvation. Never mind. Let's see, hydroponic farm. That's probably a good idea if there's been starving people. Oh! A space hydra attacks the Wolf of the Zillions at the Axion system. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Humanoid life has already begun on this world. When you land on the planet, you integrate them into your colony. Once integrated, they only work the farms and will not leave the planet to colonize elsewhere. Interesting. But it's being guarded by the, uh, the space hydra. That's a really cool planet, though. But but Prime Directive, ah, we don't have it. <laughs> we're not the Federation. We're a dictatorship. We could have played a nice, friendly uh, people, but we didn't. So, uh, yeah, another hydroponic farm. Why not? So we still have two more freighters left. Okay, good. We get fusion beams. So let's make some new ships using our lovely new fusion beams. Pollution processor. Oh yes, I remember that. Okay, so that's right. So when you start producing a lot of stuff, 
you end up spending resources automatically to clean up the pollution of what you've created. Imagine that, just like it's a given that part of the process of production is cleaning up after yourself. You know, that's why you get, that's why this is a spacefaring civilization, because they actually don't ruin their own planet to begin with. Let's just do this because it's cheap, Space Academy. Okay. Ah, select a planet for a colony base. This one, because it's the only one that we can do. Look at this environment though, it's so cool. It's got that like 90s pre-rendered 3D gra graphics background thing going on. It's awesome. Okay, uh, start with an automated factory as usual. I've used an AI to help make mock dialogue for a fantasy game. Uh, so I could have it, so I could dissect and learn how the AI did it. I'm playing to a sort of storybook. I have it to choose your own adventure and then just pictures, basically a digital version. That's a really cool idea. Yes, excellent. Um, yeah, I love that idea. And that is a good, simple game to start with, right? Because you've got one basic system, the, you know, the dialogue, right? And, yeah, that's thinking with portals. Right, we we're going to design a new ship. Let's design... Does anyone want to name our new class of ship? Also, let's pick a nice uh, shape for it. Actually, let's go with a cruiser. Let's go with a cruiser. What shape do we like? They're all really boxy. That one's kind of cool. Uh, let's clear all this out. I want to... Yeah, yeah, clear. Uh, I want to start again. So, what systems do we want? Heavy armor. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Mass driver or fusion beam? I think mass drivers look better. Interceptor? Yeah! Four interceptors carry best PD weapon. Uh, okay, cool. Like that. Don't pollute, but build weapons of galactic proportions to commit mass murder. Yeah, but not on your own planet. That's the point, right? Let's do fusion beams and mass drivers. So we have a bit of variety here. I like that. What do we call this ship? Any suggestions? I'm bad at names. I'm bad at names. I need a name for the ship. It's got mass drivers and fusion beams, so I'm going to call it Shooty... Shooty Blast. Shooty Blaster. There we go. I'm terrible with names, I told you. Let's build the shooty... I can't build the shooty blast here because I need the starbase first. I did all that pointless. Okay, let's build a starbase. It's amazing that we can have superior 3D graphics rendered in real time and that pre-rendered stuff. Yeah, it is incredible. Blasty McBlast face. Ah, oh, that was a good one. We'll do that next time. Uh, and the things, but it's just... Yes, yeah, screw the starvation. Up a ship, good. Uh, Starbase, yes. Starbase. Where's our hydroponic? There it is, hydroponic farm. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to need another freighter fleet because I just saw that we were low on that. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, so these guys are running out of food. Um, let's move these guys here. Basically, the problem is. We have more than enough food, but we don't have the transport for it. So these guys were running out of food because they can't produce anything. These guys were also importing food, but they could make it themselves. So I moved them over there. We have so little science. We should be doing more science. I like science. We've only got one scientist in the whole empire. Okay. We're really good for food at this point. Uh, research lab. We got all this st stuff being done in automated research labs. That's kind of funny. Good. There's a freighter fleet. Uh, this one can build the shooty blaster. Let's cut. Let's re let's rename it. Let's rename it to uh, Blasty McBlast Face. Oh, I can't. I can't fit it. I'm just going to do Blasty McBlast. I don't watch any new decent sci-fi TV shows. Um, Strange New Worlds. Star Trek Strange New Worlds is brilliant. It's actually. The second season is so much better. I love it. Um, and it, and the second season ended on a cliffhanger. I'm like, it, I, but yeah, it's good. Um, <laughs> also, uh, Foundation season two. Oh, you didn't like Foundation? Okay, fair enough. I really like Foundation. It's really cool. It's it's just got this scope. You know, it's set like ten. Tens of thousands of years in the future, and like they don't even remember where they what where, where Earth, you know, they don't remember Earth. It's kind of crazy. Uh, what does Tachyon Communications do? Okay, increases command points. I see. 
Uh, let's do this. Advanced biology. Don't remember where I left my keys yesterday. Oh, that sucks. You should get one of those um, devices that like makes a noise. You know, you whistle and it whistles back, sort of thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, let's double up on the research here and the production there. Ooh, this go this director and Regina. <laughs> This is a really good governor. Look at that. Look at all these bonuses. Yes, I think so. Let's put them in. Let's install them right away. Um, yeah, let's replace Administrator Crassus. Yes. Let's do good bonuses. Um, and then let's put you in charge of uh, on the boneyard. I mean, in relation to what you said about them not remembering where they came from. And found oh, I see. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh my god, I built an outpost here on a colony ship. And I didn't even... Okay, I'm stupid. Let's just go colonize somewhere, shall we? Abundant. Probably this is Eros 2, though. We already got that system. Ultra poor is rubbish. I mean, there's all these great places that have enemy presence. We really need to do something about these... Um, horrible monsters at this planet these planets um, oh I guess if we send a, col a outpost ship to here it might help us scout further let's do that yeah okay so I kind of want to try defeating this space amoeba um, but we'll need our big ship first for that research lab yes Research lab. Research lab, get it? Because they're dogs. <laughs> yep. Uh, marine barracks. We should be building that because we have a. Oops. We have a morale pearls team without it. Yes. Okay. We have way more food than we need. Let's get you building more blasting with blasting. You're building more star basey, star bases. Uh, non spacey though. I watched Silo, which is pretty good. It's a post-apocalyptic thing where everyone's living in a giant cylinder underground called a silo, and it's, uh, that's really interesting. Uh, GNN, your source for all the news you need to know. There are hundreds of new citizens in the Nolan Empire's uh, population growth. Okay, good. The Sakura Empire is really strange. It now four star systems. Oh dear. Ah. Director Crassus gains a level. That's nice. Yeah, Silo is really interesting. Because it's like, you know, you've got this enclosed society. And they've got all these, like, very strict rules. And it's kind of, you know, you kind of have to have that living there. But it's also very corrupt and interesting. And, yeah. And there's a sort of thing, uh, like, no one remembers who built the Silo kind of thing. Which is really interesting. Um, yeah. Breakthrough! Cloning center. Oh yes, we can uh, increase population growth. Excellent. Death spores! Oh good, yes. And soil enrichment. Uh, this one. New season of Harley Quinn. Yes, Harley Quinn is hilarious. Uh, I haven't got around to watching that yet, either, but it's, uh, it's on my list. Let's do cloning center. Uh, let's see, how are our population going? So... Oh, we've, we've reached maximum... Uh, population at Dogstar, so we could potentially move some of these people off planet. So yeah, let's move someone from here to the Boneyard. Unavailable for three turns, yes. Oh, but I screwed up because we need freighters to do that and now we don't have freighters to carry the food. Oh dear, I guess we have to stop importing in this planet. There we go. Oh, it's still bad, okay. Great, what a waste. Oh well. Merchant star spies, damn you, merchant spies. Do I need to build spies just so I can not be spied on? Okay, let's build another freighter fleet. Dupe. One settler arrived, good. Okay. Now we can do that. And that. Blasting with blast is nearly ready. The pride of the dog boy spaceship fleet thing. Okay, so this is the place we definitely want a cloning center. 
because we can have 11 more population here. Blasty McBlast is built. Excellent. Uh, soil enrichment. Yeah, that's good. Because this place will be so much more. So much more. Okay. So, I'm going to... Well, before I do that. Uh, let's see if we can defeat this space amoeba. So we have these, this our amazing fleet of two ships. Um, that's not one. <laughs> Wait, why is this? I was supposed to colonize. I was supposed to use this colony ship. It's just been sitting here. Oh my god, it's an outpost ship, not a colony ship. Okay, there. Now, does that mean? Oh, it, yeah, that expands my range. Okay. So, uh, I'll deal with that in a minute. First. I'm going to put a leader on this ship. Uh, Captain Cairn can go on this one. Yes. Then I'm going to save. And fight the amoeba. And also uh, probably build a scout at some point when we have a next thing to build. Oh, who's this? Oh no! I hope your race will last long enough to give my people a little sport, dogmatics, like a cat with a mouse. No, we're dogs. We enjoy playing with our prey before destroying it. Oh, good. It's an automatic enemy. Hey, it's the whimsical ones. You cannot succeed in your feeble attempts at mastery, dogmatics. The noble empire will always prevail. Fire all weapons. Yes, exactly. Oh, wow, we're meeting everyone today. It's the Ant Boys. The Wolfadillion people are as weak as they are ugly. We'll destroy you all, Dogmatics. Yes, good. Thank you. Wow. Suddenly, all this bullshit happened. Um, yeah. We are popular. Yes. A space amoeba attacks the Wolfadillions. Okay. Uh, it's really awkward because everything moves too fast. But, um, okay. Fire weapons at the space amoeba. Fire all weapons. Boop. Zoop. We barely hurt it. Well done. Uh, fire all the other weapons now. And Okay, good. We also barely hurt it. Uh, this doesn't look good. Okay. It destroyed our ship. Our first ship in a single attack. Fire again. That wasn't very good. Oh, we're still alive. Okay, maybe we should move... Oh, we... Okay. Let's move up, because our weapons... Our fusion beam is probably better at... Is definitely better at close range. Okay. That wasn't great. I think we're going to die. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to reload, because that's bullshit. So, there we go. That means we've got to go through the meeting of people all over again. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, they didn't go too well. Um, instead of that, let's just go, like, uh, here. Our advanced ship lost two turns instead of one. Progress. Exactly. We will defeat them. Okay, this is, yeah, so this is a cat with a mouse, uh, also dog. Uh, the boys prevail. Um, something, uh, and it's, it's creepy boys. Yeah, okay. Good. Everything's fine. We have a new star base, we have a new freighter fleet. Research lab, why not? Let's always research is good. Star base, yes, good. We can build another blasting with blast. It's probably a good idea. Because we have a star base here. Let's do that. Another blasting with blast. Two blasting with blasts. Today's headlines. The population broom and thingy. Yeah, who cares? Okay. Small radiated low G planet. Rubbish. I don't want to colonize that. What about here? Let's go there. It's just a gas giant. That's completely useless. Amazing. Colonial center. Okay. Soil enrichment. Yes. How are we doing for food? We're low on food. We need to. Ugh, it's annoying. Okay. You have to do farming. A wealthy merchant has contributed 700 BC to the Nolan Empire. Well, that's bullshit. Battle pods increase the thingy. Uh, troop pods. Good. Okay. Let's do this one because it's cheaper. 
Tachyon physics. Yes. Ooh. Hmm. <gasps> do I want this person? 400 BC. You're an instructor. What does that do? Increases experience. Points by six points per turn for all ships. That's pretty good. Labor leader. Productivity of factory workers. Let's wait. Let's wait for now. Got a climbing center. Good. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Biospheres. Yeah, because we're running out of space. Oh, we will run out of space on this planet. Right, let's move this stupid thing uh, to there. Good. We've finished the soil enrichment. We have a lot more food. Which probably means we'll need more freighter fleets. Let's build one anyway. You always need more freighter fleets. So yeah, we have plus 10 food. That's crazy. Any thoughts on what game we're playing next? Um, well... Do you mean on stream or just uh, just uh, for fun? You know, just just, just for me. Um, for streaming, I'm not sure. I'm I'm wondering whether to keep to make this a long series, to keep it going. I, it depends if if there's interest. So yeah, like I said, depending how this goes. Like if you guys are interested in watching other four X stuff, I could play another four X game. Um, there's so many games I want to stream. I like. Do you have any suggestions? What do you guys want to see? Uh, an answer in the comments if you're on YouTube. Ooh, gold deposits. That's good. <gasps> Look at this. An ocean world with abundant gold deposits and a tundra. That's kind of okay. Yes. That's a good place to say. Play what you want to play. Yeah, that's the hard thing is figuring out what I want to play. <laughs> I do really... I, I kind of want to play uh, Baldur's Gate again. You know, or maybe... Oh! We need to name a new thing. What do we call it? What do we call it? I really like how when you land on this, it's like you're clearly landing underwater. It's really cool. Like, don't just build something on the surface. Just go underwater. It's fine. Less scary. Why? I'm not saying no, but I'm saying why. Like, that's not a funny name. That's just like, let's just do it. Let's just go with it. Is that a name of a thing? Is that something? What does Lescari mean? I'm just going to make sure it's not a swear word in some other language. The name of my planet, I call this Spore. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we want to do here? Let's start with an alt made factory. As is the tradition. Uh, and let's buy it. Because, yeah, why not? Uh, okay. Our home planet really is the breadbasket. I mean, look at this. Let's build some biospheres. Because we're running out of space. We have extra freighters. We could move some, some people. Let's do that. Yes. Oh, the High Council has convened to elect one leader to be Emperor of the Galaxy. Emperor Tyrant of the Sakaras and Emperor Dogmax of the Wolfedinians have been nominated. Wow! We could be... Oh, the, the Nolans abstain. Three votes for Dogmatics! Wow. Uh, the Mercians abstain. Six for... Oh, dear. Uh, who do I vote? Myself, obviously. Uh, neither related to the two-thirds majority. Okay, great. Does that end the game? I think that just ends the game, which is really stupid. If you, just someone gets elected emperor and that's the end of it. You don't have an opportunity to fight back or anything. Let's build a cloning center. Let's build another blasting with blast. That's what we should be doing. Yeah. I think you can say screw you, but then you have to fight everyone. Ah, yes, that makes sense. <laughs> that's really cool. Fight everyone. Lots of biospheres. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so. The thing is, there is it, there is a lot of micromanagement in this game, and that led them to go a bit too far in the other direction with uh, Master of Orion Three, which I played for a bit, and then I realised I wasn't playing it; it was playing itself. Because it's like you can just automate everything to the point where it's like, what am I even doing? What is even the point of any of this? Uh, we don't need a... Let's build a spy. Because we probably need one to stop people stealing stuff. Biospheres, yes. Space Academy, that's probably a good idea. No, I don't care about Space Academy. I want to build another Blasting with Blast. That's what we want. Uh, we have too much food. Yeah, we don't need you to be there. We have three Blasting with Blasts in production. Oh, we have new stuff. 
Tachyon Communications, Tachyon Scanner. Uh, neutron Blaster stuff and things. Let's just get Advanced Fusion. Can we move this anywhere? Oh yeah, we can still explore here. Let's explore here. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Uh, the Einhorn system. I would make a joke about Ace Ventura, but fuck that movie. One settler arrives. Good. Okay. Uh, do we have any leaders we haven't bought? Should we buy this one? Like, we don't... Do we even have a place we could put them? I mean, look at that 60% labor leader. I think that's worth it. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay, yeah. Let's wait till we have more money. Scouts arrive in the Dagon system. Dagobah system? Einhorn, a unicorn. Yes. <laughs> Oh, is that what that means? Is that... Oh, that's interesting. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you spy. Okay. Hmm. Wow, it's ten minutes to a new... I, was, I usually finish after two hours, but I think I'm going to keep going because I'm just really into this. Um... I just want to keep playing, so yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess we could build some of these smaller ships. Swift paw. Like, I think we can build up to a destroyer level. So let's. Uh, oh, look at all this. Uh, anti missile rocket. No. Death spore. That's for, like, bombing planets. That's not what we want. Let's get loads of mass drivers on heavy mount. For this one. Uh, we could do battle pods and get more space. There we are. Anyone want to name this? Yes, just one more turn. Anyone want to name this ship? Everyone loves bioweapons. <laughs> Dog Destroyer. Yes! Excellent, thank you. I love it. Uh, what shape do we want? That's a cool shape. Let's build this. Let's build the Dog Destroyer. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go with, into a, into hour three this time. Ain't that something? That's basically those uh, marine barracks. We need that for not being upset. Yeah, I remember now. Blast him! Blast! Yes, blast him! Blast! Yes, I should have been more excited about that. Um. Let's build a space academy here because it adds uh, it adds experience to our ships, and that's what we want. Scouts arrive. Mm, ultra poor. How sad. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our ships back to Dog Star. How many of these? So we have. How many? Where, where, where? So we have. We have two fleets, really. That's not a lot. Ah, another blasting with blast. Excellent. Uh, research lab. So, would you guys be interested in seeing more of this next time? You know, or is it a bit uninteresting? I mean, we might be able to conquer the galaxy. You know, that's always fun. Ooh, what do you want? Uh. Yeah, let's be a, let's be a lot allied. Why not? I think that means when we go to war, they go to war, which will be fun. <laughs> uh, let's put another dog destroyer here. Yeah, let's move this ship here. Let's see what our, these guys have. So they they have a destroyer here. Um, what do the Cylons have? They have this cruiser. Yeah, I think we're militarily okay. Uh, let's put another blasting blast. Um, should I be moving any of these people around? 3 of 6, 13 of 20, 5 of 6, 16 of 18, 6 of 6. So we could move one of these to uh, here. Yes. Because there's no point having a place completely full if there's places for them to go because the population growth can move into somewhere else. Mutu! Indeed! Hello, Toma123! How's it going? Uh, we are playing as the 
Uh, Space Wolfadillions or something. This was a name chosen by the community. <laughs> uh, let's put another blasting with blast. Actually, no, yes, let's do that. Oh, we're running out of money. Oh, we're getting, we need another star base. That's why we're having a problem now. Because um, we need, okay, so who's got the most production? I don't know why we're not building, oh, we don't, we can't build a star base. Because we already have one. Oh, I can't build a star base there either. Or there. How about here? Yes, we can build it here. Can we buy it outright? No. Okay, this is a problem. We have overextended ourselves. Euro truck simulator. Yes. <laughs> Euro truck in space. I mean, no, but yes, kind of. Uh, I mean, it's this isn't Euro truck simulator. Look at that. Look at our fleet. Okay, let's go attack the space amoeba. Because... You know, that's what we do with spaceships, and that way we'll reduce our, our, uh, you know, our costs. <laughs> so we have Cap Bla uh, Captain Ken in the charge of the Blasting McBlast of the Blasting McBlast, uh, sp spaceship, spaceship, happy time, fun, explosion, dudes. Maybe we can last three turns now? Yes! That's, that's the plan. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's kill a space amoeba. Okay. Um, do we want to get close? Yes. Oh my god. Why don't you guys have shields? Did I build it wrong? Or is it... No, that's just a selection effect. Okay, that's not that you don't have shields. Okay. It's really fiddly. Like, it's hard to explain, but the mouse control is just kind of odd. Uh, like that is not great. Okay, look how little damage we're doing. So if you can see down in the corner, just under the, the thing there, it shows you how little damage we've done. Oh, come on. It just... Ah. Okay, and then there's this crappy little ship. Don't you hang back. Okay, let's see what happens. Done. Done. Oh, the interceptors are doing their thing. That's cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, this they, we've we've killed some of them. We've hurt hurt them a bit. Okay. Well, we're doing some damage. You know, I could just click auto. Let's just do auto combat. It's happening. We're damaging them. We lost the ship. We did it! Yes! Amazing! We survived! Okay, now we really need to quickly build a colony ship before some other bastard takes this. Okay. <laughs> 